Today we're going to quickly go over how to add river systems to your terrain in Gaia. If you find this video helpful, please throw a like down below and subscribe to the channel. The rivers node can instantly generate complex river networks on any terrain. Generating rivers does not require many prerequisites. The terrain should just have some slopes, so rivers can flow down slope. This makes rivers very versatile as you can use it with virtually any terrain shape and at almost any stage of your terrain's production. By providing a headwaters mask, you can confine all starting headwaters inside that mask. All rivers would then originate from those locations, giving you artistic control over river generation while leaving the minute details to the algorithm. You can even use rivers early in your graph to help carve pathways and valleys for ancient rivers that have dried up, or for river generation later in the graph. Having a river early in the graph helps the erosion and other effects take the river pathway into account throughout the terrain production. So let's just break down how you would use the rivers earlier in your graph to cause some erosion for rivers that you generate later in your graph. So essentially, I have this super simple terrain here, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run that into a rivers node. You can see I've turned the water and width values up to 100%. I've also increased the down cutting value quite a bit to 60%. I'm finding that increasing the down cutting value will pay dividends later on when you add the erosion. I think it adds to the, the aged eroded field that we're trying to go for in this. After the rivers node, we're gonna add an absolute node and you're gonna pipe your depth value into the absolute node. Then you're going to create an erosion node. You run the rivers node into the main erosion input, and then you're going to take your absolute node and run that into the area input. And that is going to selectively mask the erosion into the area that was generated by our absolute node, right? Which you can kind of see here. You can change your erosion values as you see fit, but after you're done changing your erosion values, you're gonna add a rivers node after that. And you'll notice now that our rivers seem to fit a little bit nicer into our terrain here. You can see that it looks like they've been cutting away at these valleys for a long period of time versus something that was just kind of like inserted on top of our terrain. We can go back and forth between the graph that has the erosion beforehand and the graph that just goes straight to our erosion and rivers node. And you'll see quite a bit of a difference in my opinion. The graph with the erosion beforehand definitely looks way more natural to me. So that was a quick video going over how to add river systems to your terrain in Gaia. I hope you found this video helpful. If you wanna see more Gaia tutorials, please throw your suggestions in the comments down below and I will see you in the next video.